Hi guys! In today's video we're going to be testing out, trying out, seeing what it's all about, the new Burberry Essentials Glow Palette. In this palette we sculpt, we blush, and we highlight. So let's see what it's all about. Let's get started. So the new Burberry Kid on the Block has arrived. She comes in a variation of two options, one for light to medium skin and then one for medium to dark skin. Now before we get started, today's video is a collaboration with the beautiful, the talented, the amazing Alicia of Kinky Sweat. Alicia is a fitness professional who loves all things movement and beauty. On Alicia's channel, you will find the newest and best of the best when it comes to beauty reviews. She always packs them with details and tons of information. I guarantee that you'll be walking away knowing way more than you did going in. Alicia has both of the Burberry palettes and she's going to be demoing for you the light and the dark. So I'll have all of her information and her video linked down below in the description box for you. So now that we have all of the formalities out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this palette. I made my purchase direct from the Burberry website and this is how my palette arrived. It came in this really cute little bag and you open it up, it's nicely wrapped in the little tissue paper and here we are. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. And on the back, you have all the details, ingredients, everything you need to know. And this is what the actual palette looks like. It feels of nice, good quality. And you lift her up to a full-size mirror and the compact opens completely. So you can lay it flat on your vanity or adjust the mirror accordingly. This is our new 3-in-1 face palette in radiant tones to instantly sculpt, color, and highlight. With comfortable cream and delicate powder formulas, the lightweight textures blend onto the skin to effortlessly create endless glowy looks with customizable intensity. The swatches are really, really beautiful, I have to say. And it gives me an idea now what I have to expect with these products. For the top row, we have the Sculpt shade in dark brown, and that is a cream. The middle shade is the blush in coral, and then we have the highlight in nude gold. So we're going to go ahead and start off with that first row. I'm going in with the Dior foundation brush to go into the cream rather lightly. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. Ooh. Definitely giving a nice dark sculpt. So I'm just turning the brush around. I'm taking a clean brush. I'm just blending. I have to say, blended out quite nicely. It was intense, so I would say go in with a light hand and build accordingly. But it does blend beautifully. And it did not disturb the products that I had applied already, which is nice. Let's go in with just a little bit more and see if we can up it up a little bit. Because, why not? So I'm going back in just ever so lightly because you really don't need a lot. And let's apply. Okay. 
and built it up just a little tiny bit. I know if I'm not careful, I can get carried away, but I think it built up quite nicely. Continuing on that top row, I'm going to go into the blush. This is a Wayne Goss number 14. This is my typical blush brush of choice. I prefer it because it does give a diffused, positive color. And this blush is in the shade Coral. I'm going to build her up a bit. This blush does have a beautiful glow to it. And that is the color Coral applied. Going into the highlight, this is Nude Glow. This is my Wayne Goss airbrush. Picks up a good amount of product. I'm just going to tap off a little bit. That is beautiful. And that is intense. It applies and blends into the skin so nicely. Would you say? I really like this color as well. It's not too gold, it's not too silver. It is a true nude gold. Very beautiful on the skin. I'm going into the blush shade. I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. I'm gonna go into the highlight shade and put that on my inner corner. Quite a pretty and simple and quick little eye look because while you have this palette out, why not? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the bottom row and we'll do that on this side. Now this shade is described as a medium brown sculpt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Wayne Goss number 11 brush. That blends into the skin so nicely. So that is the medium brown sculpt shade blended in quite nicely. <laughs> Let's go ahead into the blush. I'm going in with my Sonia G Soft Cheek and let's go into the Fuchsia blush from the bottom row. So I want you to see that these blushes definitely give off some luminosity, but they do meld and blend really, really nicely over the skin. And let's go into the highlight. This one is Rose Gold, and I'm going to be using my Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush. Ooh. Hello, Glow. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go into the medium brown sculpt shade. Then I'm going to go into the fuchsia blush. And then into the highlight shade for inner tear duct highlight. I'm going to go into my Chantecaille mascara and just kind of pull the look together. And I will be right back. I went in with this Sicily Single Shadow in Matte Nude. And I did apply that as my brow bone highlight just to finish everything up. And I did also apply my Chantecaille Lip Liner in Tone and my Burberry Liquid Lipstick. Again, everything that I use today will be listed down below in the description box. So here is our finished look. The cheeks are so glowy and beautiful. I feel very fresh and pretty. <laughs> now, if you want to take it even a step further, 
okay? And you want to just kind of meld it even more together and maybe even diffuse it and take the glow down just a smidge. You can go in with a finishing powder. Today I'm going to use the Chantecaille Blur Powder. And let me just show you. I'll go into the side that I feel is a little bit more intense and just kind of... very lightly so you see how it kind of toned things down a little bit you still have glow but it took it down just a little bit if that's more your speed you can definitely take your finishing powder and kind of diffuse things so here we are nice and glowy and intense and then we toned it down just a little on the side now that everything is finished applied Let's chat. All of the powders blend beautifully and look just effortless on the skin. Now the cream is also fantastic. It does meld and blend into the skin quite easily. And I love that I was able to build it up to my desired intensity. I think it looks great. The blushes aren't too intense, giving you that nice flush of color to the cheek as blushes intended. And the highlighters, oh my goodness. Do I need to say anything? I don't think so. <laughs> I think the products definitely speak for themselves. Let me show you what the palette looks like now that I've used it. I will say, for a cream product to be surrounded by powders, you are definitely going to get powder kick up and residue in the cream. So keep that in mind. It's not a deal breaker, but that is definitely something to keep in mind. And do you see just how beautiful it is on the eyes? It's very soft. So you could literally just have this palette only with you and be totally fine, totally. So let me know what you guys think about this new Burberry palette. Thank you so much, Alicia, for collaborating with me on this video. I cannot wait to see this palette on you. Again, Alicia's channel and her video, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to share the new Burberry Essentials Glow Palette with you. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.